Zepa Inglés. Curso de la Secretaría de Educación Pública para el Aprendizaje de la Lengua Inglesa. Nivel Inicial. Unit 1. International English. Bienvenido al curso SEPA Inglés. En esta unidad aprenderás a presentarte y a decir de dónde eres. Ejercicio 1. Muchas de las palabras en inglés son similares al español y de uso internacional. Escucha algunas de ellas y lee. Taxi. Telephone. Cassette. Jeans, bank, computer, camera, video cassette, hamburger, football, television, sandwich, passport, cinema, radio. Repite las palabras después de Kevin. Identifica la sílaba que suena más fuerte. Taxi. Telephone. Cassette. Jeans. Bank. Computer. Camera. Video cassette. Hamburger. Football. Television. Sandwich. Passport. Cinema. Radio. Ejercicio 2. Escucha y señala las palabras que identifiques en el ejercicio 1 del libro. Passport. Football. Jeans. Sandwich. Hamburger. Repite las siguientes palabras. Recuerda identificar la sílaba que suena más fuerte. Taxi, telephone, cassette, jeans, bank, computer, camera, video cassette, hamburger, football. Television. Sandwich. Passport. Cinema. Radio. Ejercicio 3. Escucha y lee esta conversación entre David y Natalie. What's your name? My name's Natalie. Where are you from? I'm from England. Ahora escucha esta conversación y completa las frases en tu libro. What's your name? My name's Kevin Dutcher. Where are you from, Kevin? I'm from the United States. Resuelve el ejercicio 4. Después, escucha y comprueba tus respuestas. My name is Pietro Rossi. Where are you from, Mr. Rossi? Italy. Samico Ito? Yes. 
Hello, my name's Claire. Claire Davis. Where are you from? I'm from Japan. Hello, my name's John Harris. Where are you from? I'm from Egypt. Your name, please. Kristina Novak. Nationality? Sorry, I don't understand. Nationality. Where are you from? Oh, Poland. I'm from Poland. Ejercicio 5. Escucha este diálogo entre los timbres de varias cartas. Identifica de dónde son y anota las respuestas en tu libro. Where are you from? I am from France. Where are you from? I'm from America. Where are you from? I'm from Spain. Ejercicio 6. Escucha cómo se pregunta dónde queda algún lugar. Excuse me, where's the toilet? There. Thank you. Ejercicio 7. Escucha los siguientes diálogos y ordénalos. Where's the restaurant? There. Where's the bar? There. Excuse me, where's the toilet? There. Thanks. Okay. Ahora escucha y repite. Restaurant. Bar. Telephone. Where's the restaurant? Where's the bar? Where's the telephone? Ejercicio 8. Escucha y repite estos saludos y formas de cortesía. Después, resuelve el ejercicio. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Excuse me, please. Yes, please. Sorry, I don't understand. No, thank you. Ejercicio 9. Escucha y repite los números del 1 al 10. 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Escucha y repite las siguientes cantidades de dinero. Five pounds. Ten dollars. Ejercicio 10. Escucha y escribe en cada cuadro los números o cantidades de dinero. Sigue los ejemplos. Three pounds. Seven dollars. Nine pounds. Ten. One dollar. Six. Two pounds. Four. Five dollars. Eight. Ejercicio 11. Escucha y lee el siguiente diálogo en una tienda. I'd like this, please. How much is it? Eight pounds. Five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. Repite las siguientes frases. I'd like this, please. How much is it? Ejercicio 12. 
Escucha y lee la conversación de un turista que compra en una tienda. Hello. Hello. Where are you from? I'm from the States. The United States of America. Ah. Oh. I'd like this, please. How much is it? Five pounds, please. No, dollars. Five dollars, please. No, nine. Nine dollars, please. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Resuelve el ejercicio 13. Después, escucha y comprueba tus respuestas. Ejercicio 15. Escucha a Kevin decir las señales y repítelas. Taxi. Telephone. Toilets. Bank. Theater. Cinema. Hotel. Restaurant. Steak. Sandwich. Escucha de nuevo y anota en el recuadro el orden en que dice Kevin las señales. Unit 2. Information. En esta unidad aprenderás a deletrear. También a obtener los datos generales de las personas. Conocerás a algunos empleados que trabajan en la agencia de publicidad MAP Advertising. Ejercicio 1. Escucha y lee cómo se preguntan ciertos datos generales de las personas. What's your name? What's your address? What's your telephone number? Ahora escucha y lee las respuestas. My name is Kevin Dutcher. My name is Kevin Dutcher. I'm Kevin Dutcher. My address is George Hotel, 10 North Street, London, N1. My telephone number is 281-0640. Ejercicio 2. Lee los datos de las dos tarjetas en tu libro. Después, escucha las preguntas y contéstalas. What's your name? What's your address? What's your telephone number? Escucha de nuevo y comprueba tus respuestas. Después, escucha y compara tu pronunciación. What's your name? My name is John Farmer. My name's Jean Bush. 
What's your address? My address is 16 Claremont Square, Highgate, London, N6 5DA. My address is STI Road Transport, 7 Nash Crescent, or Sussex, TN3 4SP. What's your telephone number? My telephone number is 081 331 5093. My telephone number is 0420-683-597. Ejercicio 3. Escucha y repite el alfabeto. The alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N. O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. V, W, X, Y, Z. Para facilitarte el aprendizaje del alfabeto, canta la siguiente canción. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N. O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. V, W, X, Y, Z. Lee en voz alta las siglas del ejercicio 4. Después, escucha y escríbelas. EC, USA, BBC, UN. Escucha de nuevo y repítelas. Deletrea los siguientes nombres del ejercicio 5. Después, escucha y repítelos. K-E-V-I-N Kevin J-A-M-E-S James J-U-L-I-A Julia R-I-T-A Rita Ejercicio 6. Lee en voz alta los números telefónicos que aparecen en tu libro. Después, escucha y comprueba tus respuestas. 341-2096-146675 O992-55 8721 Ejercicio 7 Escucha y escribe los números telefónicos de estos tres mensajes grabados en una contestadora. You have just dialed the Odeon Cinema Large Hill on 081442211. Details of today's programs are as follows. On screen 1, we are showing Back to the Future again and again. And again. Thank you for calling the National Bank Bloomsdale on 3652899. All our lines are engaged at the moment. If you'd care to hold, somebody will be with you. 2765912. Mike is not here at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Ejercicio 8. Escucha y lee cómo se pregunta cuál es la ocupación de alguien. What's your job? What's your occupation? I'm a teacher. I'm an architect. I'm a student. Ahora responde las preguntas con tu propia información. 
What's your job? What's your occupation? What's your job? Ahora formula las preguntas. I'm a teacher. I'm an architect. I'm a student. Resuelve el ejercicio 9. Después escucha cómo se presentan las personas y comprueba tus respuestas. I'm Miss Jones. I'm a shop assistant. My name is Mrs. Kelly. I'm a secretary. My name's Miss Allen. I'm a doctor. My name is Mrs. Hart. I'm a housewife. I'm Mr. Frost. I'm an architect. My name's Mr. Wood. I'm a teacher. My name is Mr. Lee. I'm a fisherman. I'm Miss North. I'm a farmer. Ejercicio 11. Escucha el nombre de algunos países y las nacionalidades y anota en los recuadros el orden en que se dicen. Germany. German. Portugal. Portuguese. France. French. Norway. Norwegian Pakistan Pakistani Spain Spanish Ejercicio 12 Escucha y lee cómo se pregunta y responde de qué país es alguien. Where are you from? Where are you from? Escucha y repite las respuestas. I'm from Britain. I'm from the USA. I'm from Japan. Pregunta por la nacionalidad de alguien. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Escucha las respuestas a la pregunta. I'm British. I'm American. I'm Japanese. Ejercicio 13. Escucha a Shakespeare y completa su cédula de identidad en tu libro. Next. Good morning. Good morning. What's your surname, please? Shakespeare. Your first name? William. Where are you from, Mr. Shakespeare? I'm from Britain. I'm British. Address? The Globe Theatre, London, England. The Globe Theatre, London, England. And your occupation, Mr. Shakespeare? Occupation? My occupation? Yes, Mr. Shakespeare. What's your job? Writer! Resuelve el ejercicio 15. Después, escúchalo y comprueba tus respuestas. Maisel Street. Maisel Street. Can you spell that, please? Yes. M-A-Y-S-O-U-L-E. Number one. Spell. 
What's your name, please? James Brady. Number two. Name. Hello, Mr. Brady. I'm Tom Hall. Hello. Number three. I'm. This is my secretary, Rita Patel. Number four. Secretary. Is this Mr. Brady's form? Yes. Number five. Form. We need some more information. Number six. Information. Your first name is James. Yes. Number seven. First. Are you married or single? Number eight. Married. And you're from Ireland. Number nine. Ireland. What's your address in London? The Birch Hotel, Maysall Street. Number ten. Address. What's the telephone number? 3520529. Number 11. Telephone number. Ejercicio 16. Lee y escucha la entrevista entre Amanda y Susan. Después, resuelve el ejercicio 17. Hello, my name's Amanda. What I'm going to be doing over the next 15 minutes or so is asking you some questions about yourself, where you live, that sort of thing. Okay, what is your first name? Susan. Susan. And what's your surname, Susan? Thomas. T-H-O-M-A-S. Are you Miss or Mrs? I'm single. Miss. Thank you. What is your address, Susan? 13, Bruce Road. Is that with a C or an S? That's with a C. Bruce Road, Harrow, Middlesex. And what is your telephone number? 081, 081, 841, 841, 8645, 8645. Thank you. And what is your nationality? British. What does she do with the information? Once we've got that information, it becomes a formal document and we open a file. The way we open a file is we put the information onto a computer. Ejercicio 18. Escucha otra vez el diálogo. Imagina que eres Amanda y repite con ella. Unit 3. Meeting people. En esta unidad... Aprenderás a saludar a alguien y preguntarle cómo está. Ejercicio 1. Antes de iniciar, relaciona las fotografías con las expresiones. Después, escucha a Kevin. Good evening. Good evening. Table for one? Yes, please. This way, sir. Aquí tenemos a David. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Number one. Escucha de nuevo a Kevin. Hello, Mr. Lewis. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, doctor. Good. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, doctor. Oh. Number five. Oh, good night. What? Good night. Oh, good night. Number four. Aquí está Natalie. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Number two. Escucha nuevamente el ejercicio y repite los saludos. 
Resuelve el ejercicio 2. Después, escucha y comprueba tus respuestas. Hi, Sandra. Hello, Miss Marsh. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Paul Cook. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. I'd like to see Mr. Hall, please. Is he in? Ejercicio 3. Escucha y lee el diálogo entre Kevin y Natalie. Observa el cambio de acentuación entre you y are. Hello, Natalie. Hello, Kevin. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Fine, thanks. I'm fine. You're fine. We're, We're fine. fine. <laughs> Escucha nuevamente el diálogo y repítelo. Resuelve el ejercicio 4. Después escúchalo y comprueba tus respuestas. 1. How are they? They're fine. 2. How am I? You're fine. 3. How are you? We're fine. fine. Four. How is she? She's fine. Ejercicio 5. Escucha y lee estas presentaciones formales. James, this is Paul Cook. Paul. This is Susan. I'd like you to meet Susan Warren. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Warren. How do you do? How do you do? Please call me Susan. Escucha y repite varias veces los diálogos. Resuelve el ejercicio 6. Después escucha y comprueba tus respuestas. Conversation A. Hello Tom. Hello Paul. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Conversation B. Ah, oh, James. Lucky like to meet Susan Warren. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Warren. Oh, please, call me Susan. Ejercicio 7. Escucha los nombres de algunas personas que trabajan en MAP Advertising. His name is Tom Hall. He's the managing director. He's the managing director. Her name is Rita Patel. Her name is Rita Patel. She's a secretary. She's a secretary. Their names are Sandra Turner and Rita Patel. Their names are Sandra Turner and Rita Patel. They are at MAP Advertising. They are at MAP Advertising. Resuelve el ejercicio 8. Después escucha y comprueba tus respuestas. 1. Her name is Sandra Turner. She's the receptionist. 2. His name is Paul Cook. He's a designer. Three. Her name is Julia Marsh. She's an account manager. Four. His name is James Brady. He's an account manager. Five. Their names are Tom Hall and Susan Warren. They are at MAP Advertising. Número
enumera las oraciones del ejercicio 10. Después escucha y comprueba tus respuestas. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, George. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Fine, thanks. I'm George. How do you do? Ejercicio 11. Escucha y lee. Después resuelve el ejercicio 12. James Brady? Uh, yes. I'm Julia Marsh. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Where are you from, James? I'm from Ireland. Oh, lovely. Where in Ireland? Uh, Dublin. Who are they? He's a designer. His name is Paul Cook. He's from Art and Design Limited. And who is she? Her name is Susan Warren. She's the marketing manager at Brentwood Engineering. Ah, oh, James. Lucky to meet Susan Warren. Susan, this is James Brady. How do you do? Nice to meet you, Mrs. Warren. Oh, please, call me Susan. Hello, Susan. Hello. What's your job here, James? I'm an account manager. Paul, I'd like you to meet James Brady. James, this is Paul Cook. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Escucha de nuevo el diálogo y verifica tus respuestas. Ejercicio 13. Escucha y lee la entrevista entre Graciela, una estudiante suiza, y Pauline Gay, quien va a la estación de trenes a buscarla. Graciela. Yes. Hello, I'm Pauline Gay. Oh, hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Did you have a nice trip? Yes, very good, thank you. My car is over there. Should, would you like me to help you with your luggage? No, thank you. Thank you, sir. Are you driving or am I driving? Oh, I'm sorry, no, I'm not. <laughs> We're back. Hello. Hi. This is Gaziella, this is my husband, Sean. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. And this is Ella. Hello, Ella. Hello. This is Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Hello. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. This is your room. Oh, it's nice. I would show them the London Underground map, how to get to school, various sites that they can see. And my husband likes to sit down and um, show them the more interesting sites. I think the main reason is that it's very good for my children, uh, my husband and myself, to speak to people from foreign countries and to learn about um, other languages and other people's customs. Unit 4. Food and Drink. En esta unidad aprenderás los nombres de algunos alimentos y bebidas. También a pedirlos en un restaurante. Ejercicio 1. Escucha y marca en tu libro los alimentos que identifiques. Chicken. Chicken. Apple. Apple. Vegetables. Vegetables. Sugar. Sugar. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Water. Water. Milk. Milk. Orange juice. Orange juice. Lemonade. Lemonade. 
Ejercicio 2. Escucha y repite los nombres de los alimentos. Bread. Bread. Butter. Beef. Beef. Chicken. Chicken. Cheese. Cheese. Orange. Orange. Apple. Apple. Fruit. Fruit. Vegetables. Vegetables. Salad. Salad. Soup. Soup. Sugar. Sugar. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Eggs. Eggs. Ahora escucha y repite los nombres de las bebidas. Water. Water. Tea. Tea. Coffee. Coffee. Milk. Milk. Orange juice. Orange juice. Tomato juice. Tomato juice. Apple juice. Apple juice. Lemonade. Lemonade. Ejercicio 3. Escucha y lee. Usa esta expresión para pedir algo. I would like. Escucha y repite la forma corta para pedir algo. I'd like. I'd like. Escucha y lee las siguientes oraciones. What would you like? What would you like? I would like an apple, please. I would like an apple, please. What would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? I'd like a sandwich, please. I'd like a sandwich, please. What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? Tea, please. Tea, please. Tea or coffee? Tea or coffee? Coffee, please. Coffee, please. Milk? Milk? Yes, please. Yes, please. Sugar? Sugar? No, thank you. No, thank you. Ejercicio 6. Escucha el siguiente diálogo y comprueba tus respuestas a los ejercicios 4 y 5. What would you like, David? Tea or coffee? I'd like tea, please. What would you like to eat? I'd like an apple, please. Thank you. Natalie? Uh, a cheese sandwich, please. Kevin, what would you like to drink? I'd like orange juice, please. Ejercicio 7. Escucha y lee el menú. Menu. Vegetable soup. Vegetable soup. Onion soup. Onion soup. Mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. Cheese sandwich. Cheese sandwich. Beef sandwich. Beef sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. With tomato, mayonnaise, cucumber or lettuce. With tomato, 
mayonnaise, cucumber or lettuce, orange juice, orange juice, apple juice, apple juice, grapefruit juice, grapefruit juice, tomato juice, tomato juice, lemonade, lemonade, tea, tea, coffee, coffee. Resuelve el ejercicio 8. Ejercicio 9. Escucha y comprueba tus respuestas. Después, practica con la camarera. Pídele tu menú. Waitress. Yes, please. Customer 1. I'd like tea, please. Waitress. Milk. Customer 1. Yes, please. Waitress. Tea with milk. Customer 1. And sugar. Waitress. Sugar's there. Customer 2. And I'd like orange juice, please. And a beef sandwich. Waitress. Orange juice. One beef sandwich. Yes, please. What would you like? Customer 3. A cheese sandwich, please. And coffee. Waitress. Black or white? Customer three. White, please. Waitress. White. Coffee. Thank you. Ejercicio 10. Escucha y lee los números del 11 al 20. 11. 11. 12. 12. 13. 13. 14. 14. 15. 15. 16. 16. 17. 17. 18. 18. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty. Ejercicio once. Escucha y escribe los números. Thirteen. Twelve. Twenty. Fifteen. Thirteen. Eighteen. Ejercicio 12. Escucha a Kevin decir los ingredientes y marca en tu libro los que identifiques. A lemon. An egg. Some strawberries. Some butter. Some cream. Some milk, some sugar, some flour. Ejercicio 13. Escucha los ingredientes de nuevo y ordénalos conforme los dice Kevin. Ejercicio 14. Escucha y escribe los alimentos junto a su recipiente. A bowl of soup. A bowl of soup. A cup of tea. A cup of tea. A plate of chips. A plate of chips. A glass of tomato juice. A glass of tomato juice. A bottle of water. A bottle of water. Ejercicio 15. 
Escucha este diálogo y completa las oraciones de cada dibujo. What's that? A bottle. A bottle. Yes. A bottle of milk. What's that? A glass. A glass. Mm. 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 A glass of orange juice. What's that? A cup. A cup? Mm. A cup of coffee. What's that? It's your bill. Ejercicio 16. Escucha y lee la forma en que Tom y James piden su comida en un restaurante. Después, resuelve el ejercicio 17. Please. Excuse me. Can I have the menu, please? No. Yes, sir. Soup, please. Soup. And I'd like steak and chips and salad, please. James? I'd like soup and chicken, please. Thank you. Um, what would you like to drink? A bottle of mineral water, please. And a glass of apple juice for me, please. And what would you like for dessert? James? I'd like strawberry cake, please. And for you, sir? Yes. I'd like strawberry cake, too. Would you like a cup of coffee? Uh, yes, please, Tom. Black, sir? No, white, please. Black for me, please. Thank you. Can I have the bill, please? Yes, sir. Escucha de nuevo y comprueba tus respuestas. Ejercicio 18. Escucha y lee este diálogo en el restaurante de comida italiana de Frank. What are you going to have today? I'll have some apple juice and a chicken sandwich, hot. Hot chicken sandwich mm -hmm. with tomato sauce and cheese? Uh, just tomato sauce, no cheese. No cheese. No cheese. Okay. Uh, and a salad. What kind of dressing would you like? Uh, French dressing. Okay. Ahora Frank atiende a sus amigas Diane y Fran. What would you like today, Diane? What is your soup? We have a soup today called vegetable medley. It's a cheese soup with vegetables. All right, that sounds good. Okay, one soup. How about a sandwich today? I love one. You know how I love your turkey sandwiches. One turkey. Would you like that with oil or mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. And a tomato. Tomato. Lettuce. Lettuce. And that's it. Okay. Fran, how about you? Well, the soup sounds good. I'll have the soup. One soup. And I'll have a turkey sandwich, sure. but I'll have butter on the bread. With butter. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Ejercicio 19. Frank atiende a su último cliente. Escúchalos y completa el diálogo. What are you going to have? I'd like, um, I think I'll have a beef sandwich today. Would you like cheese on that uh, beef sandwich? Yeah, I think I will have some cheese. How about a dressing on there? Mayonnaise. Okay. Great. Anything to drink? A cup of black coffee. Black coffee, no cream. Yep. Okay, thanks, John. Thank you. Unit 5. A place to live. En esta unidad aprenderás algunas expresiones que te ayudarán a encontrar un lugar para vivir. Kevin y James Brady te enseñarán a rentar o comprar una casa o departamento. Ejercicio 1. Escucha y lee cómo preguntar a alguien dónde vive. Where do you live? I have a house. I live in a flat. I live in a hotel. Escucha de nuevo y repite. 
Escucha y resuelve el ejercicio 2. Después escucha otra vez y comprueba tus respuestas. I live here, in a house. It's a small house. I live here, in a hotel. I live here, in a flat. It's a big flat. Ejercicio 3. Escucha y comprueba tus respuestas. My name's Yumiko. I live in Houston. I'm Jim. I live in Bombay. Hello, I'm Sadia. I live in London. Hi there. My name's Rick. I live in Tokyo. Ejercicio 4. Escucha y lee. A kitchen, a living room, a dining room, a hall, a bedroom, a bathroom, a shower, a toilet, a playroom, central heating, a garden, a garage, Escucha de nuevo y repite. Ejercicio 5. Escucha y lee la forma de preguntar qué tipo de habitaciones tiene una casa. Does the house have a living room? Does the house have a kitchen? Does the house have central heating? Does it have a living room? Does it have a kitchen? Does it have central heating? Does the flat have a living room? Does the flat have a kitchen? Does the flat have central heating? Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. Ejercicio 6. Escucha y marca en tu libro las características del lugar donde viven estas personas. Hello. My name's Jim Bull. I'm a writer and I'm single. I live in a flat in Bombay. It's a small flat with one bedroom, but it's okay for me. My name is Yumiko Saito. I live with my sister in a house in Houston. The house is small, but it has a big garden. That's why we like it. Hello, I'm Sadia Khan. I'm a teacher. My husband is a doctor. We have five children. We live in a big house with a living room, dining room, kitchen, two bathrooms, six bedrooms, and a big garden. Hi. I'm Mr. Snow, Mr. Rick Snow. I'm an architect and I work at home. I have a big flat with seven rooms and an office. Ejercicio 7. Escucha a David y escribe las respuestas a su pregunta. Do you have a house or a flat? Um, I have a house. A house. We have a house. I have a flat. I live on a boat. Escucha de nuevo y comprueba tus respuestas al ejercicio 7. Ejercicio 9. Escucha y completa las frases. Después responde a la pregunta de Natalie. What's this? Apartments. Flats. I want to rent a flat. Oh, this is a nice flat. It has a big kitchen. Very big. It has a bathroom. Hmm, nice. Two bedrooms. Two small bedrooms. 
and a living room. Very hmm. really nice. It has a garden. It's small. And it has central heating. Well? well. What rooms do you have in your house or flat? Ejercicio 10. Escucha a estos caracoles y completa el diálogo. It's small. No, it's big. It has a living room, a kitchen, two bedrooms. What? It has a living room, a kitchen, and two bedrooms. Does it have a bathroom? Of course. Does it have a garden? Yes. Okay. Ejercicio 11. Escucha la conversación y comprueba tus respuestas. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to rent a flat. A small flat. Furnished or unfurnished? Unfurnished. This flat has two bedrooms, a living room, a kitchen and a bathroom. Does the flat have central heating? Yes. Does it have a garden? Yes, a small garden. Hmm. Well, where is the flat? This flat is in Wimbledon. Hmm. I'd like to see it. How much is the rent? Right. Let me show you around. This is the living room. It's big. The kitchen's through here. Hmm. Nice. Toilet. Hmm. This is the bedroom and the bathroom. Well? Yes. Good. Ejercicio 12. Lee y escucha a Truman Howell. The reason that I enjoy living on the boat and that is my preferred lifestyle is that I have the, the uh, freedom of moving my home literally up and down the river as I wish uh, I also am located in downtown St. Paul uh, literally across the bridge from me as well as having a natural environment right across uh, the front of my boat where there are trees and, and animals and, and uh, uh, ducks and, and uh, woodchucks etc. Uh, we have electrical power Uh, we have natural gas that comes to the dock. And uh, we also have our water 
that is, is uh, uh, from the public utility as well. Ejercicio 14. Escucha y comprueba tus respuestas. This is my living room. And this is the bedroom. This is my kitchen, and this is where we eat. And this is the view from my boat. This is where I work. Sepa Inglés es una producción de la Subsecretaría de Educación Básica y Normal, la BBC Worldwide LTD y el Instituto Latinoamericano de la Comunicación Educativa.